So in today's activity, I'm, I'm just going to show you how to execute a few functions in Excel. Uh, the first thing is I don't really like the size of the font in this um, file, and so I have a couple of choices. I can obviously change the size by clicking in an individual cell I'm formatting here at the top, but in general I like the font in mine to be a little bigger overall. So when I click in this upper corner, I collect, I connect sorry, select every cell in the sheet. So now once I've done that, any changes I make happen to everything, all right? So if I increase the font size, I get that, all right? And here's the thing, I, these are my labels. I like them to be um, actually reversed out. I find that this is a nice way to look at things, so I make them black. And I make their font white and I make it bold all right and I can center it obviously I can um, justify this would be right justify this would be left justify all right and I do like for this at least my text aligned to the bottom of the cell the problem with this for me is I really prefer the names of my students to be in one box so this isn't the way that our system here um, gives us that data. The other thing is, you know, like right now, this cell is much bigger than it needs to be. If I wanted to make that smaller, I can just go up to the top of the cell and see how my mouse changes. Now if I double click, it'll auto change that width. It does that automatically. I can do control Z or undo to go back. I can go up there, click and hold and then drag to get it the size I want. But I want to show you, um, you know, Excel is smart and it can do whatever you want to do. So let's imagine that I want to combine these into a single cell. If I want to do that, it's just called name, all right? And I want it to have the same formatting as these. So what I'll do is I'll just click here, get my format paintbrush, and then click that cell, and automatically it has the same format. Okay, so if I want to combine the names, I would do equals this, I do an ampersand, and this, and you'll see what happens. Okay, so now they are completely together, and that's not what I want. So let's try on the next line. I really want a space between them, so I'm going to say equals, or I could say plus, this, ampersand, now to put the space, I have to put a quote around it, a space, the quote. Now I need the ampersand again, and now I click the next cell. All right, so now I have the name, and there's a space, but I really want to show that it's last name, first name. So really, if I do that, it really is going to be equals. Click the cell, that has the last name in it. Put the ampersand in. Open the quotation marks. Whatever I put in the quotation marks will appear exactly in between the two things. So I'm going to do comma space, close them up. Now the ampersand again. Now this. And I hit enter. Oh, that's the way I want it to look. All right. So now I can just go to the corner where the little black box is, wait till my mouse changes to the black cross, click and hold, and now drag down. And it's going to combine them. All right, again, this is too small and not what I want, so um, I want to get these corrected as well. So I'm going to do Control-C this time. I'll select those two and do Control-V. I get what I want. Now, when I look at this, my column's not wide enough, and so if I double-click, then I have what I want. All right, so I hope this helps you and helps you understand that Excel can, um, it's a very powerful, powerful tool. I use it for a lot of calculations, but you can use it to format text as well.